First, we need to understand the landscape of the influencer industry. What's currently happening right now in the year 2018? Things are always changing and evolving. And a recent study by the firm Linqua said that 39% of surveyed marketing professionals plan to increase their influencing marketing budgets in 2018. But it's not going to be easy because brands are being extremely selective with the influencers that they work with. And they're working with influencers on a repeat basis rather than just one and done. So what does this mean for you as an influencer? It means that they're going to be selecting talent or influencers based on your values, representing you as an influencer working with a brand and aligning your values with the brand stands for, including the aesthetic, as we talked about earlier in the influencer panel. Um, and working with those people selectively. So this quote here is great. There will be more in-house influencers for brands, but this stems from the growing notion of finding long-term deals with compelling influencers that over time begin to embody the voice of the brand. Brands are gonna start to follow in the footsteps of fashion giants. I've done a lot of research on this and I saw it was really unique that Urban Outfitters, their influencer marketing strategy is that they go narrow and deep. They find a few select influencers that really embody their aesthetic and what they stand for and work with this select few over and over. They've taken their in marketing, influencer marketing in-house rather than outsourcing it to our PR company and they just pick a few select individuals to work with.